Hello everyone, this is Jin, a TCM practitioner and instructor in Victoria, BC, Canada. Here is my online class for Pathology. This class specially for TCM students. The book we used I put below here. I help I can help the students to study and review for the class. Okay, let's start. So, kidney stones, uh, and the following can be any part of the urine symptoms, but mostly we're talking about it happens in the kidney. So, we can see the picture here. That's some stones here and here, and here also. So they may be just one. They may be have a lot of more, yeah, like that, like that. So cause of kidney stone, uh, people thinking about some people, some more eating of food, like the, some people, especially eating some special kind of food, it's pretty easily formed the kidney stone. So that's some like a calcium bar in the urine, and then they are not uh, directly relieved it, and then form the kidney stone. So that's the kidney stone. So kidney stone mainly forms on the kidney. So we say kidney stone is formed in the kidney, and then they will follow the urine downward. So if it is smaller enough, smaller enough, they will follow the urine and the downwards and uh, pass in the ureter and go to the your bladder and from the your bladder is released outside yeah, from the uh, urine. But if the kidney stone, yeah, if the kidney stone is bigger, is bigger, they will block you some the passing weight like a urination tract. So three part is three part is pretty easily called kidney stone blocking there. So kidney, outside kidney connected with your ureter part. That's the one part. It's pretty easily it's the second part, yeah, second part, uh, kidney terrace, and the ureter part. That's the first part, kidney stone pretty easily blocking there. And the second part, the yeah, second part, we have a narrow in there, we have a narrow in there. So basically it's ureter pass over, we have a allic blood vessel there. So that's from a narrow part, kidney stone easily blocking there. And the third part, Kidney stone easily block you. It's like uh, the ureter go into the bladder part because that part is another narrow part. So three part so easily cause the kidney stone block you when passing the ureter. So what cause kidney stone? Yeah, what cause kidney stone? Not totally clear yet. Yeah, not totally clear yet. But some few relationship people's eating. And that's, that's kind of a calcium combination with some acid. Yeah. So that's the most like, yeah, mostly our kidney stone is forming. 
like the people specialized in eating too much calcium, and then eating some other special food too much, but still quite marked. Like in the same family, all the family member eating the same food, and some family member got king spoon, but the other family member is totally fine. So still relationship with the body, like、uh, can handle some special kind of food or not. So that's、uh, basically we talking about from the teaspoon. But if patient have teaspoon one time, they will pretty easily happens like later, like repeatedly happens even after treatment. Is relieve the kidney stone, and later on they may have kidney stone again, again from repeated habits. So that's、uh, they say that's basically relationship with some food people eating, but also by the constitution, different kind of patient, what kind of constitution they have. Clinical symptoms. So a kidney stone, if pretty pretty smaller, pretty pretty smaller. So kidney stone have two form. One kind of forms like this cup of the stone inside the kidney. Another kind of forms the kidney stone like that. That is the kidney. So basically, the smallest kind of kidney stone is more easily to handle. Some people maybe even don't know they have kidney stone because when the kidney stone is formed, they directly relieve by the urine. They even don't know. They don't have any symptoms even. Some people maybe have some chronic kind of.、Uh, Back pain in the kidney area. Some people maybe don't know it. They don't have any kind of symptom. But yeah, but some bigger kidney stone, yeah, some bigger kidney stone, truly cause the problems. We talking about we have three area pretty narrow there. The kidney is pretty easily blocking there. When they block you there, they cause the pain. So this kind of pain is a pretty severe kind of pain. Because, like we go to last picture here, whatever they block you, like blocking here, the urine couldn't pass in. We the urine will be continually coming, continually coming. When they continually coming. And、uh, put the passing through, so certainly will be increase the pressure inside the kidney. So that causes severe kind of painful situation. So that's basically painful in the kidney area. And if blocking happens in here, like below, like below, so still. The urine continually coming, continually coming, but they couldn't pass in. Still increase the pressure in the kidney and also pressure in ureter. So this kind of patient, the painful situation, may be more downward. Yeah, maybe still painful in the kidney area, but the lower back still painful in there. And the same situation, if they block in. In the like enter the blood area, cause the all the ureter area pressure increase and cause the more painful in it. So that's the first symptom, patient painful and getting more severe and more severe, kind of sharp pain in there. And we say the stone blocking there, and some pressure will be coming, and maybe temporarily 
like the stool is passing that area, then the pain for relief. So thus we're talking about the pain, yeah, the pain that's coming and then relief. And maybe another come another pain coming and then relief. So that's possible, that's possible. And also can radiate to the glory area. That's basically or your bladder located area. So that's why symptoms we talk about the pain. Another symptoms, blood in the urine. Blood in the urine. Blood because the stool is so hard, it's pretty easily damaged blood vessels. Especially when they block you in different part of the urine tract. They may damage blood vessels in that part. So then cause the bleeding. So bleeding kind of situation may be severe, may be just a little bit easier. It's depending like how big blood vessel is damaged. So in kidney area, maybe they are pretty easily cause the blood vessels is damaged. But in the urination tract area, urine is a small blood vessel. So big bleeding, people can see if the eyes, small bleeding in the laboratory tract is microscope, then we can find bleeding in the urine. And another situation, so if the kidney stool happens, like repeatedly, repeatedly happens, then they are easily cause the bacterial infection. Pretty similar like we talking about last year. We say when the urine passing urine tract smoothly, even have some bacteria in there, they are pretty easily relieved from there. But if some blocking there or passing slowly, that's truly easily cause like a bacteria stay in there like be longer time, they are pretty easily like from one bacterial development to two and two to four, so like a kind of copy in there. So that's much easily cause the infection in there. Uh, so kidney stone, yeah, kidney stone, with a small stone is better just to relieve by itself. So that's sometimes if some people got kidney stone, they're looking for the treatment, they're looking for the treatment. Uh, usually the doctor maybe tell you, upstairs, downstairs, go to like a lot of times, or maybe try jumping, yeah, jumping. What they try to tell you, they like you through the movement or jumping, like the stool, passing the narrow eye and then follow the urine, relieve by itself. So that's the most case if people go okay, through the exercise and relieve the stool by itself. That's perfect. But for some case, like a stool pretty bigger, certainly before before the doctor tell you what you will do, they will check it. Like we say CT scan, X ray, or other sound checking. They can find how many stone is there and how big of the stone is there. Certainly small stone they may tell you do some exercises or jumping, try to relieve stone by itself. But a bigger stone like this truly exercise is not working. So thus we can go to some surgery to remove it. And right now basically we can directly use like ultrasound, directly broken the stone from bigger to, to small. Yeah, so that's right now we are not truly like open the abdominal area and try to remove stone. We just use other sound to break it from the bigger stone changing to small stone. And then small stone 
where it is from the U.S. So that's the most case. The most case. So kidney stone is not not a severe kind of problem, but a truly cause the patient more painful kind of situation, and pretty easily cause the infection. So that's about kidney stone. Any questions in this part? Okay, that's good. Okay, so for today, yeah, for today. Uh, today we're talking about full illness relationship with kidney. The first tool, the first tool, is a little bit similar when we call the metric syndromes, why is kidney infections? So this tool is pretty similar, but remember, the first one, mainly problems, is the protein problem. Yeah, protein drinking from the urine and cause the blood level urine decrease and cause the Second one, yeah, second one is blood cells linking. Mainly is the right blood cell. Mainly is the right blood cell. Certainly they have some more white blood cell or maybe protein and still cause edema and also cause the high blood pressure. The blood pressure increase. That belongs to autoimmunity disorder. And then third one is bacterial infection. Third one is bacterial infection. So if we check into the urine for bacterial infection, mainly is white blood cells in there, and maybe some bacteria in there also. So that's a little bit different with the other tool. And still possible have red blood cell and some blood protein, but mainly is red blood cell and bacteria. And the last one is the stool, kidney stool. So kidney stool uh, mainly cause the painful situation, stool blocking there. And uh, another typically symptoms I forgot to uh, talk about. Some people go to urine and suddenly the urine stops. So that kind of situation is the symptoms of, of the kidney stool. Like a kidney stool follow the urine go down and suddenly blocking in the urine tract and then they stop the urine coming out. So that's urine happens in the urethra part. So that's urine happens in the male yeah, because the males, the urethra is more, much longer compared with the females. So that if some male patient go to pee, and they didn't, they know they didn't finish, but no urine coming out. So that kind of situation is possible in stool, and then cause painful. Uh, so mainly we say mainly is painful, and still possible some Right blood cell inside. And still possible later on cause the infection. So that's the four illness we're talking about today. We're talking about today. Any questions in today's class? Okay, so that's today's class. So we didn't have second block, uh, second block break. We didn't have second break. We gave ending early.